So we're here with Joe at the, uh, the Neve booth, uh, NAM 2022. How are you, man? I'm very good. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Stuff. Yeah, what have you got at the Neve? Uh, what's going on at the Neve booth? Okay, so uh, during this NAM show, it's the first time we managed to get out in the past two years, so it's really good to be back, good to see people. We've had an incredibly busy few days, uh, which has been fantastic because we are launching the Neve 88M here. Uh, this is our first audio interface and two channel mic preamp with technology that comes directly from the 88R console. So, transformer balance front end very high quality uh, ADC and DAC chipsets uh, and basically plug and play allows you to get really high quality sound in your home studio system. So yeah, what sort of features has it got? Uh, yeah, uh, we okay, so we, we have mic line and DI inputs on the front, two channels. Uh, we can uh, toggle through and select the inputs really easily. All of those inputs feed through the transformer as well, so you're getting very high quality sound for uh, inst any instrumentation you're using. We've got balanced inserts at the back as well, so you could add a compressor or an EQ into the chain or even you know, a loop pedal. Uh, we've got monitor outputs, so you can plug your speaker uh, system into the studio with a center detent that's 12 dB below maximum, so it's ideal for calibrating your studio loudspeakers to uh, your ideal listening level, essentially. Uh, high quality headphone amplifier that allows you to, to monitor uh, via headphones. Uh, and then we have ADAC expansion on the back too, so uh, we can plug in additional mic pre's or additional outputs to get you a total of 10 I.O. Uh, we're using 24-bit 192 conversion as well, so really high quality audio interface. Excellent, excellent. Uh, yeah, what, I mean, is it out now? When's it out? It's out right now, yes. Uh, we launched on Friday and uh, many of our dealers have these in stock already, so yeah, go and pick one up. Excellent, and uh, what's the RRP on it? So we're selling these for £895 in the UK and uh, uh, 1245 in, in dollars for the US market. Yeah. Great, looks good and I mean 10, 10 in, 10 out is a ten real, in, ten out, real yeah. nice number of like, it's a lot at your fingertips isn't it? Exactly, yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it gives you enough to do whatever you want in, in most home studio environments. You know, you can even take this on the road, it's all fully bus powered. So you don't need to plug into a wall wart or anything like that. You just plug your USB in, USB-C or USB-A type and just get ready to record wherever you are. Great, yeah, and affordable for quite a, a, and portable enough for like a wide range of musicians. Totally, yeah, it's, it's, it's built to last as, as all Neve gear is. You know, this is a very high quality uh, piece of equipment. Excellent, cool. Um, yeah, what else have you got to show us? So uh, this is the, 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 the scope of the booth here. You can see this is, the, this is the Genesis Black console. We have a BCM here as well. So we've got a very wide range of, uh, of Neve equipment here uh, from the 8424, which is our producer's console. Uh, we have the, it, the Genesis Black, which is a more serious hybrid console, and then the BCM, which is the classic all analog, uh, straight ahead analog console. Um, an, another cool thing that we're showing here with the Genesis is now that this is not released at the moment, it's currently a, a proof of concept uh, demonstration, but we have the ability to mix in Atmos on an analog console. Uh, we've got this piece of software that runs on the Genesis computer and allows us to send metadata to and from the Dolby renderer, uh, allowing you to pan in three dimensions. Uh, we can control the monitoring, we can uh, map in, in 3D space any of the objects, and it's a really groundbreaking feature essentially, allowing you to really mix analog in Atmos. And so, um, yeah, what sort of stage is, that, is this in? Uh, is it going to sort of hit the market this year? Uh, again, it's, it's a proof of concept at the moment, so we're just showing what we can do. Essentially, the, we don't have any release date or any of that. It's just, it's just a prototype to, 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 to show people what we can do and our, our capabilities. Uh, we've been working with Atmos for a very long time with our digital film console, the DSC 3D. Uh, for any of the cin cinema releases you've seen over the past 10 years, uh, the Neve R&D team have a lot of experience working in the Atmos format, including uh, other formats too, so Aural 3D and so on. But um, we're just using those expertise to be able to service um, Atmos for music, essentially. Nice, and I imagine you can like automate this, uh, automate yeah. a mix. Yes, we, we could automate. Around. Yes, exactly. We, we, we have the ability via the Genesis Control plugin as this moves forward, we have the ability to uh, to automate any of these 3D panning positions for any of the objects on the on the system. Nice. So it's like a whole new uh, yeah, it's a whole new way to mix, isn't it? It's like a, a, 
three-dimensional world of sound now. It is, yes, yeah, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure walking around here you'll see all the Atmos stuff there is. There's uh, Dolby, a lot of other companies are doing Atmos uh, demo rooms here, so it's a big deal. Atmos for music is, is up and coming and uh, I think it's here to stay, so it makes sense for us to, to look at ways that uh, if you're mixing on a Neve console, you don't have to put the console away once you start wanting to mix in Atmos. You can still use all of the, these features in a 3D format, essentially. Well, they're beautiful desks. I wish I had one. <laughs> <laughs> we can make that work. We can make that happen. Thank you. Cool. Uh, thanks. thanks for showing us that, Joe. Really no appreciate it. No problem at all.